use of anchor charts in the classroom for instructional purposes is not a new concept, but allowing the students to participate in anchor charts is really the integral feature that's going to allow that long-term learning to take place. Okay, so let's talk about what an anchor chart might be. What do you hear in those words? What, is, what do you hear? Anchor. anchor. Okay, what does an anchor do? It holds a ship down. Perfect. Thank you, Ty. Utilizing an anchor chart to extend their learning through the course of the year from beginning all the way to the end is going to allow them ownership of that information that they learn along the way. We're going to model for you what that kind of looks like in the classroom, how to get students to interact with the anchor chart and create it as we go. So I'm going to ask some questions and you guys are going to tell me some things you know about poetry. Okay. What does poetry look like? Mm. Looks like a short paragraph, so it's short. What else? B. Sometimes has rhymes. <gasps> nice, I like that word. Sometimes it rhymes. What else? It's written in stanzas. It can be written in stanzas. So poetry can be written in different formats. Great. B. Me rhyme and meter. You guys know a lot about poetry, so much about poetry. Now, you guys have helped me create this anchor chart. This is just the beginning of the year, okay? What do you think we're going to do during the year with our anchor chart as we learn more about poetry? Add on. We're going to add on to it, okay? We're going to add on to it so that at the end of the year, all of this information about poetry is what in our brains? Anchored. Anchored. Outstanding. Okay, we're going to move on now.